All right, folks, how we doing? I'm Scott Shirtson for Streampunk Entertainment and Streampunk Combat, and we are sitting here today with Mr. Who? Brandon Quinn. All right, Mr. Quinn, great to talk to you, man. Listen, talk to me a little bit about basically uh, what your weight class is, how you feeling about the fight, and who you're taking on for Danger Zone 2. So I fight in a 125-pound weight class. Um, I've had only one other fight in uh, Danger Zone 1, actually. Mm -hmm. Um, it, it was a really, really great experience, really great learning experience. Um, obviously, with every fight, you learn more and more every time. So it was uh, – the cr crowd was great. Uh, the It was an amazing feeling going in there. Um, I've been training for around uh, probably two years now. Mm -hmm. um, I originally started training with my brother – he was going to the gym. I've been training at Performance Combat, and he we would kind of just spar in the backyard. He'd beat me up a little bit. <laughs> and so, you know, it kind of started out with, like, some healthy competition there. And then um, went on to – I just started training. And I I just really love – for me, I've, I've, I've always been very active, running, mm -hmm. whatever. And it was, it was a really good thing to put my energy towards. Um, and so I, I just started picking it up, and I've been training really – pretty consistently uh for around two years now so okay, cool. and how old are you if you don't mind me asking 19 oh god you're a kid sorry yeah. <laughs> I'm, 40, no I'm 48 so i can say i can call you a kid yeah yeah um, okay so basically talk to me a little bit you know the fight's coming up on february 3rd when did you go at this point nose to the grindstone to really put in the time to prepare for this how many days a week how many hours a day and what was the workout routine during all of this in the last couple of months um, most of the time I would, I would try to either run in the morning. Mm -hmm. Um, and, and if I couldn't run in the morning, I would just, I would go to the gym because go to the gym at night. Then after the gym, I would run. Mm -hmm. I always try to get, uh, and I would run and it's not that big of a deal, but I would run no music. I really try to focus okay. on a pace, uh, almost as if I'm in a fight, mm -hmm. imagining I'm pushing the pace against an, an opponent and try to work on just really having a consistent pace during the entire run mm -hmm. um and most of the time you know run around three miles sometimes more sometimes less it just depends on the day and what's going on but a lot of the times i work out a solid uh six times a week okay around there five six times a week um i always try to stay in shape especially because when you're used to running a lot and then you mm -hmm. stop it makes you, you it, it takes a obviously takes a massive toll on your cardio so it's just kind of it the, the running helps a lot for me in the gym mm -hmm. to be able to put in more work. Fair. Now, when you're doing road work, uh, especially with the weather that we've had of late, yeah, uh, has that been a challenge for you at all, or does the weather just not bother you, or do you see it as a positive to toughen your body up? Uh, no, yeah, I actually see it as a positive because I feel like a lot of people wouldn't go out, especially it's been mm -hmm. snowing, ice, whatever. I just, um, I just don't really care. Uh, okay. I'm going to go – regardless if i said i was going to run today i'm going to run today so mm -hmm. that's what i try to take into to account um and it you know it's been snowing and ice and sleet and everything and it, it is a little bit Sucks. annoying when it <laughs> yeah it is a little bit annoying when it comes to the grip like on the road mm -hmm. because i'm trying to get run a good amount of like get a good speed going get a good pace and i'm slipping all over the place trying not to fall on my ass so mm -hmm. it's sometimes it gets a little bit uh, annoying when it comes to that but if it's raining or anything, it's really not. It does. I don't really think about it. I just go out and, and do what I do. Mm -hmm. And in this case, like you said, you do it with no music. So it's all visualization and frankly, yeah. then at the same time. Yeah. Yeah. That's interesting because yeah. a lot of the fighters that we've talked to, they usually sit there and they'll have something on in the background to maybe focus on a little bit while they're doing yeah. the work. But in your case, using visualization only. And like I said, it becomes a very mental experience. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Hundred percent. It, yeah. it definitely changes it. I feel like when I'm lit, I because I've run a bunch with music before, and I mm -hmm. feel like it kind of distracts me from what I'm actually doing. And most of the time, if mm -hmm. I'm running for a fight, it's to improve not only physically but mentally. Mm -hmm. To kind of sit in that uh, mental workshop and just sit there for that twenty, thirty minutes I'm running, and really, uh, while I'm feeling the pain and I'm tired, I say, "Okay, I don't care. I'm going to keep going. I'm going to keep this pace." Mm -hmm. So that's what I kind of put into the running and put into my training and i figure you have a job of some kind too where you go to school yeah yeah so you know i go to i go to uh school as well as a job i, I <laughs> try i've been trying to i've been kind of bouncing around a little bit whatever but um i've been trying to just balance it out because it is 
training and running and in school. And so it is, it does get a little bit um, tough at times, but it's stuff that I, I'm not used to. It's one of those things that it's tough in the moment, but pr- you're proud of it after the fact. Exactly. And that, yeah. that's what it, that's what it, it's like that every time. Yeah. And, and I think trying to realize that while you're in that moment and, and I try not to, th- I, I've been working on, I try not to think about the run too much before I do it. Mm-hmm. Cause most of the time for me, I just need to get out there. As soon as I start running, it's over. I'm going to do that three miles. I'm going to do that five mile, whatever it is. I'm going to do it. It's just getting out there. That's the yeah, hardest. It is that part first step. Yep. Yeah. So <laughs> uh, as soon as I'm running, I know that I'm pushing myself and I'm going to put a hundred percent of my effort into that run into whatever I'm doing. It's just, mm-hmm. I'm sitting there looking at my shoes or whatever, and I don't want to get out there. It's raining. It's cold. Oh, you know, my, my mind's saying, Oh no, just stay, just stay in the house. Like one like, more time. And then <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Just stay in the house. You know, it's, it's nice yeah. and warm in here, you know, but you just, that's facing that is actually what gets you better mentally and stronger mentally. There's a saying that says you beat 50% of the people by showing up. You beat 40% yeah. by having a great attitude. But in that last 10%, that is where the fight really is. Yeah. Little yeah. things like this, as small as it is, is what separates people that have success from people that don't have success. Yeah. So I give you a lot of credit on that. Because like I said, a lot of people wouldn't do that. Uh, I've heard from some of the fighters, their approaches, which is a lot of times very similar to yours, you know, where some of them will put, you know, all their gym stuff in the trunk of their car because they won't dare go home because as soon as they go home, they're not going back out again. Yeah, so, yeah, same exactly. basic system here. Now, talk to me a little bit about uh, the fight coming up. Now, you do you talk to me? What was your weight you said again? 125. One, it was 125. Have yeah. you had any challenges trying to maintain that weight? Are you been okay with that? Or, um, I've my, my genetics have always been, I've always been uh, pretty slim, I've always been shredded, like a very low body fat, like an ectomorph, basically. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. um, it, it, it isn't too difficult. I, I've definitely started gaining a little bit of weight, but it, it's just. When I'm working out as much as I am, um, I can. It is to an extent pretty easy to to maintain that weight. Mm-hmm. Um, I haven't had too many problems yet, but as I start to gain more weight, you know, obviously I could go to another a higher weight class, maybe fight one thirty five. Eventually, mm-hmm. not sure, but it just depends. It hasn't been too bad at, at, so far. Mm-hmm. Now, talk to me about what's been going on with the gym, the training that you've been going on with. Uh, who's been working with you predominantly? Um, I've been working with, uh, predominantly my coach, um, Mm -hmm. Mike Cannon. Mm -hmm. He's helped me a lot holding pads. Uh, and, and if it's not that there, there's other guys that have experience in fighting and stuff that could easily help me, but it's Mm -hmm. been predominantly, uh, uh, my coach, Mike. Nice. We had to give a shout out to him in this case. I talked to him already, but we got to give him some love here. So exactly. exactly. Um, now in this case, have you had a chance at all? And you don't have to be obligated to answer this. Have you had a chance to study your opponent for uh, next week? Um, I know. Yeah, I, I, you have a look. I feel like going to find me and this is only my second fight I've ever had. Mm-hmm. Right. So uh, you're learning every moment, everything you're mm-hmm. always learning. Um, I, I think you always, you know, get a, a small look into them. And I, I try not to I feel like I try not to worry about the opponent as much as worry about what I'm thinking about, because I feel mm-hmm. like um my brain wants to, yeah yeah my yep. brain wants to go like oh oh he's probably not you know training as much as me so i don't really have to worry that much you mm-hmm. know but you can't really worry about what the opponent's doing you have to worry about what, what you're thinking you have to make sure your your mind is right and and you're right in your thoughts every single day love it um that's what i try to to worry about the most or think mm-hmm. about the most focus just really on me yeah because in this case here, if you start thinking too much about your opponent, in this case, yeah, you can get you can re- breed overconfidence. And yeah, you can yep. like make a mistake that you know, and exactly. one, one hit takes you down. So you yeah, got to exactly. be so careful with something like that. Yep. Um. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So in this case, uh, we'll wrap this up in a couple of minutes, I think. But is there, you know, basically with everything that you've been got going on, and basically the training process, um, how you feeling about next week? Feeling good? Uh, I'm I'm feeling good. I'm definitely feeling good. I'm excited. I really want to. Um... Just go and I, I want to put on a show for the fans, really, because uh, that that's I I know people come out and they pay their money and they're out there. They want to watch a good show, you sure. know, so I, I really just want to go out there and, and have a good performance and just just fight. Do you have anybody coming out next week? Um, I, I most likely ha- will have most of my my immediate family coming out. Um, I'm sure there's going to be plenty of people from the gym, but I, I always have my my friends were there the last time they said. I don't care. We'll fly across the country to, to come see your fights. We do not care. So well, we do offer pay per view if it's an option, you know, at affordable if, we, if it comes to it. Yeah. yeah first yeah. priorities get their butts in the seats. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Exactly. So, 
Nice, nice. Um, do you have anything else you want to talk about? Any thoughts? Um, what other hobbies do you have? If you got anything outside of this, once the fight's over? Yeah, um, I really, I think it depends. And most of my, the things I do are based around well, any kind of working out, like mm -hmm. I'll, I'll lift, whatever. I'll let my, all my friends lift and stuff like that. I'll lift with them sometimes. Mm -hmm. um, most of the time, I really, what I really love most is just hanging out with friends and family. That's like, mm -hmm. that's my main thing because without them, I really couldn't do anything. Sure. Even though, you know, I'm, I might be at a, a low level. I'm still an amateur. It doesn't matter. I, I, without them, their support, I wouldn't be able to do any of this. And, um, and it's, it's not only that, but I, it's also God, I got to give a shout out to, to God, Jesus Christ, you know? So <laughs> that, that is, uh, definitely, those are the things that drive me, you know, uh, I, I love, I've been playing football my whole life. Mm -hmm. So I, obviously the weather's not too good right now, but, uh, in the summer, me and my friends will play football all the time, stuff like that. I mean, I've been into sports, my whole life, really, any any type of sport, I, I've mm -hmm. been into it. Uh, and I've always been, me and especially my my older brother, we've always been very competitive with each other, with anything. Mm -hmm. doesn't matter what it is. It could be something we've never done before. We're, we're competitive with it. You know, I think that's that's kind of a, a great, um, that's why I've gotten in, into fighting, especially because it's fighting is very competitive. It's one of the You said you're fighting in the backyard things. anyway, so you started at yeah, the exactly. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. So, uh when you're used to that type of competition, some people don't have that. And so mm -hmm. it's almost like you can't really learn. You can't teach somebody to, to be that super competitive and want to win. It's kind of just something that to an extent you, you learn just growing up just mm -hmm. naturally. Um, and I was lucky enough to have, you know, um, my, my brothers that we were always competing all the time. And so it's just kind of a natural drive for me to just want to be better at, at whatever I'm doing. Weirdest or funniest thing you ever had a bragging right with him on about? Oh gosh! <laughs> I mean, a lot of the times I, I remember trying not when when we used to spar in the backyard. Like I would try not to get too too pissed off because he'd be beating me yep. up a little bit. Mm -hmm. and he's he wouldn't even be going. He might not be going too hard, but I'm like, I want. I just want to beat him so bad. I want to beat him so bad. And a lot of the times, especially with my my older brother, I can never. Even when we were younger, arguing about some, I could never get the edge on him because you know he, he's mm -hmm. he's older than me, that's not a bad four years thing, older. Though. Yeah, it isn't. And I, that that's good though. Keeps me keeps me humble. I feel yeah. like you know, don't get too much over. Don't get too overconfident. You're always getting humbled a little bit because mm -hmm. I can never. I could just never beat him. And so it was always a good thing looking up to him as I grew up. Sure, and it gave you something to drive for and a rival yep. to build yourself yeah. and continue to drive. So yeah. nice, nice. Um, what's his name, by the way? We got to give him some shout outs here, too. Yeah, his name's James. James we, right. we Thank you, man. I appreciate Jimmy. the assistance. Yeah. 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 <laughs> All right. Um, we'll wrap this up in a couple of minutes, I think. But uh, any final thoughts? And also, what, you know, social media, I'm sure you have something. What do you have? Yeah. Uh, I, well, I do have Instagram. I normally, I normally don't. I should definitely start using it. I probably make an alternate account for, <laughs> you know, my fighting page because I feel like a lot of the times, especially now it's, it's such a massive distraction and people just yeah. waste too much time on it. So I, it would definitely be better for the gym to shout out the gym and shout out when I'm fighting and stuff <laughs> like that. And, and for the promotion. So I probably should start doing that, but most of the time I, I haven't of yet put po really posted anything okay. um, uh, on any of my pages, but yeah. Have someone do it for you. <laughs> yeah. I probably, probably, yeah, do probably yeah. Yeah. I probably should do that. But all right, man. Thank you. I appreciate the time. Yeah. Um, yeah. I won't, I'm not going to wish, wish you good luck next week because you're going to kick ass. And you're going to be awesome anyway. So there's no need to thank wish. You, thank you. Thank you. But um, appreciate the time here. Just the same. Like I said, I'm going to post this up on, on uh, uh, YouTube a little bit later. I'll send you the link on that and uh, right. I'll see you at the weigh in. So, all right. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good one. Thank you too. Bye. God, they all let me down. I always fought just to wear the crown. I'm off at these fucking clowns. Hoover up top, they deserve an ounce It's only worth it if you work for it It's only worth it if you work for it I won't stop till they hear me now I won't stop till I wear the crown